to my channel it's J Monet and I'm coming to you guys with a new video um, I have like this grungy edgy look going on um, I just decided I just wanted to do something new and you know while we're in quarantine you know I just wanted to play around in my makeup play around with my hair because the struggle is real y'all like I know y'all feel where I'm coming from with all the hair salons being closed all the nail salons being closed everything like us ladies we like we want to be pampered like we want to be pampered we want to get pampered and it's like we can't so the best way to do it is to make yourself the best way to make yourself feel good is to do it in the house like i don't even care i don't even care if y'all going to the living room like just do something you know toss your hair up put some makeup on just make just make yourself feel beautiful so that way y'all feel like, like how y'all feel on the outside is how like will reflect how you guys feel on the inside if you know what i mean so if you guys want to see how i got this look stay tuned also before you move on <laughs> before you move on don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new join the monet mafia we're hella lit over here and that's one period okay mamas So to jump right into this video, I will be moisturizing my face with the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rose Hip Seed Oil. Um, I love this oil. I use it in my daily skincare routine and it's definitely bomb. So you guys should definitely look into it. I swear when I put the oil on overnight, all of my blemishes, all my bumps are just gone in the morning time. So it's very moisturizing and it's highly effective. So I'm just using the P. Louise base. And I'm just drawing out um, a, a cat eye. Um, I just want to make it a tad bit thicker so that way um, when I apply the color, it you will be able to see the color. And now I'm just packing in that extra concealer in this space because we are going to be grabbing um, a loose pigment and we will be packing in that shade. So I'm again, I'm using the loose pigment eyeshadow from NYO Makeup. This is the Seven Stack um, Ultra Bright Matte, and this is the Neon Pink. So I'm just packing all of that in there and um, making sure it's all over, like where so you don't see any concealer left. Um, all of that fallout we will clean up, and we will be sharpening up this eye look. So as you can see, I'm just grabbing a little bit of concealer, one that's closer to my skin complexion. This is the one that I use uh, to define and clean up my brows. So I'm just grabbing that and I'm just gonna be outlining it so that way we can have a sharper end of the wing. And I am um, blending that out with a flat shadow brush just to make sure that it's all blended in there and it doesn't look um, too light or too white on the eyes. So to prime my face, I am using the Benefit Cosmetics the professional face primer I really like this uh, primer I feel like it gives me like a smooth canvas and you guys know underneath my um, face I do use the fit me loose powder you have to use one that's closest to your skin color so that way it doesn't create it doesn't make your foundation really really light um, you can definitely look ghost like if you use a translucent powder so you want to make sure you're using a powder that's close to your skin complexion because this will um, prolong your foundation. And so I am mixing both my Vanessa Myricks Illuminating Veal with the Too Faced Born This Way in the color Butter Pecan. Um, I just decided to mix those two so that way I could add some glow. So I could have that glow from within type of skin look. So um, Vanessa Myricks is a black owned company and I always try to support black owned companies. So yeah, I'm just blending that out and I'm using both those two just to give me a glow from within type of skin look because I'm T, who don't want that glowy dewy skin, okay? As you will see in the video, like the farther you get along in the, in the video, these two pieces of here were like really annoying. They were in the way. So you can see, you're gonna see like me keep moving it out my face. So um, just to jump right back into the video, I am using Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. This is in the shade J15. Um, I remember telling you guys that I wasn't a big fan of her foundation. 
But that's like the only thing I'm not a fan of is the Velvety Matte Foundation. Like everything else I really do genuinely like. I really like the concealers, I like the coverage, and I like the shade sticks as well. So I'm just going to be blending that out with a beauty blender, a wet beauty blender sponge. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you got to make sure that your sponge isn't like dripping wet, soaking wet. It's damp. It has to be damp. So when I say damp, I mean like really wring it out, really wring it out. Because if you don't, you will get those patchy areas in your foundation, in your concealer, whatever you use a beauty blender for, you will get those patchy spots if the beauty blender is too wet so if you guys are wondering why your foundation or why your concealer is patchy more than likely mm -hmm, nine times out of ten it's because the beauty blender is too wet so just a reminder so i am using the juvia's place shade stick this is i don't even know how to pronounce it um i think it's gina gina one of those but it's in the color it's in the shade that that's the shade yeah, I'm tired of figuring out. But yeah, that's the shade. So I'm just going to be contouring all those areas. Um, you know, my cheekbone, the line of my cheekbone where it like, you know, sucks in. And my forehead and my nose because, you know, we need our nose to be snatched. Okay? Period. So I am um, just blending that out. And you just want to make sure it's all blended together because you don't want the contour to look too harsh from your highlight you just want it all to like flow together you see like these two pieces were like so annoying because like hair just kept falling out of it and i didn't want to put a scarf on only because like i didn't want to like mess up like i didn't want that crease you know how like when you place something on it put that crease inside of your hair and I didn't want that because the crease is ugly and I'm natural so I really don't apply too much heat to my hair. This is like an old, a two week old, two and a half week old silk press. So I just needed something new to do with my hair. So um, I am using the soft, the Black Radiant Soft Focus Press Powder. This is in the shade Milk Chocolate. I'm using this to set my contour and I figured out a way to not make it so harsh because I know last time I was telling you guys that I felt like um, when I use it, it was like really making my contour really, really dark for me. So I'm just lightly, like when I say very lightly, I'm just very lightly like dusting that on because um, I just don't want it to look super crazy. Like I don't want it to look so far off. So I am using the Juvia's Place powder. This is in the color Sahara, Sahara. And I'm just using it to set um, my highlight, so, you know, underneath my eyes, my nose, the bridge of my, yeah, my nose, um, my forehead, and my chin. I was about to say the bridge of my nose, if I already said the nose. But, yeah, so just, um, set all of those places. Wherever you, basically, wherever you use a cream or a liquid, that's where you want to set everything. You want to set it with a powder. So, I am using the Kat Von D Inner Lash to, um, uh, what the hell to i am using the kat von d <laughs> inner lash liner to <laughs> line my waterline like girl can you please get it together just this one time like oh my gosh and i'm just dusting off any of that excess powder i really had to go in this time because i don't i don't know i don't like it when it, like you can see like where i applied the powder so i really had to go in this time with dusting it off and the reason why I draw straight across underneath that um, contour, it's basically to get my contour to cut so it could be sharp. And um, if you mess up, like let's say if you get eyeliner, this is what I'm doing right now. Let's say if you get eyeliner um, on like where it's not supposed to be, so at the bottom of your eye, um, just apply a dab of concealer and then blend that out and then just grab your same powder brush and just, you know, brush it off and um, I am using the Juvia's Place blush this is in the color Serafina and I am applying it to my cheekbones and to highlight I am using the Juvia's Place loose highlighting powder this is in the shade Nubia you guys already know how I feel about highlighters her highlighters are super bomb and super pigmented
so you guys already know I like to go OD on a highlighter but if you guys do feel like you apply too much highlighter and you feel like it's like overpowering you know your whole look the whole look you were going for you could just grab that same powder brush that you use to dust off that excess powder for your setting powder and you can just um brush it off and it'll come right off so i am using a brown lip liner i got this from you know your, your local beauty supply store and same for the lip gloss y'all this is the best lip gloss ever like the best lip gloss you can get for a dollar or a dollar and 50 cents when i tell y'all it's better than any any high-end lip gloss y'all it's bomb and i am using the morph continuous setting spray to set my whole entire face i love this it's like the it's like a mist so it's not like splashing in your face because <laughs> i know a lot of a, a lot of uh setting sprays it's just like you gotta prepare for it and you know with this is like a mist so it's very common okay so this it for the look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yes stay tuned I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it for this look. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Um, yeah, like definitely comment. Like I really want to interact with you guys. So just definitely comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, I'm open for suggestions as far as like videos and what do y'all want to see. So just let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.